Here at AQHA, the Member Experience Team is dedicated to serving members by recording and preserving the pedigree of the American Quarter Horse, while maintaining the integrity of the breed. AQHA functions as the official record-keeping and governing body of the American Quarter Horse industry. To enhance the AQHA member experience, the association provides educational resources, which guide the proper completion of forms and services. This guide is created for you, our member, to walk you through genetic tests to help prevent common mistakes and support efficient processing with minimal delay. We will begin by discussing key factors that are related to all paperwork submitted to AQHA, which include fees and shipping. First, we will discuss payment. All work must be paid for in full before it can be processed by an AQHA member experience professional. Confirming that you have all the necessary information and payment for your transaction guarantees a quicker turnaround for your AQHA business. We have several options available to submit payment. These options include payment by credit card, PayPal, bank wire transfer, or certified check or money order in U.S. funds drawn from a U.S. bank. The fastest way for work to be completed is to remit payment with your form submission. For amounts that are owed after the work has been submitted, members have the following options. 1. Log into your account on www.aqha.com at Member Services to review and pay invoices or pay invoices with a transaction and invoice number at invoices.aqha.com to make a payment via EasyPay. 2. Contact the Member Experience Department at 1-806-376-4811 to remit payment with your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. 3. Ship a certified check or money order in U.S. funds drawn from a U.S. bank to American Quarter Horse Association, P.O. Box 200, Amarillo, Texas, 79168. 4. Send a bank wire transfer or PayPal transfer. Additional instructions are provided if requested by emailing finance at aqha.org. As international mail has proven to be unreliable, AQHA recommends shipping work to the association with tracking information by a delivery service, such as FedEx, DHL, or UPS, to ensure its arrival. For work that doesn't require a physical certificate to accompany it, it can also be sent by fax, email, or completed through an AQHA online account. The mailing address, registration email address, and fax number are the following. Mail, AQHA, P.O. Box 200, Amarillo, Texas, 79168. For overnight deliveries, American Quarter Horse Association, 1600 Quarter Horse Drive, Amarillo, Texas, 79104. Email, genetictest at aqha.org. Fax, 806-349-6411. Remember that a current AQHA membership is required to submit a genetic test request to AQHA. In addition to a current membership, it is important to make sure that AQHA has your most up-to-date contact information. Updating your contact information allows AQHA to properly serve as your needs. We understand your time is valuable, and by verifying your contact information, including your email address, AQHA representatives can more efficiently contact you regarding pending work. Since AQHA's inception in 1940, Science and information technology have greatly advanced, making it easier than ever to verify an American Quarter Horse's identity. Utilizing these advancements, AQHA has certain DNA testing and parentage verification requirements in place to protect owners and breeders of American Quarter Horses and to keep the integrity of the breed. 
DNA testing elicits a DNA case number at AQHA's official laboratory. This is a short code that lives in AQHA's database that is directly tied to the results of the DNA and parentage verification testing. In other words, the DNA case number signifies that the horse at hand has been genetic tested and or parentage verified at AQHA's database, that the horse meets or does not meet the requirements of registration, and that the horse is subsequently eligible or ineligible for registration as an American Quarter horse. If the horse is eligible for registration, a certificate of registration is produced by AQHA and the horse's record is maintained in AQHA's database. Genetic and parentage verification testing are arranged through AQHA and is conducted by Veterinary Genetics Laboratory, VGL, at UC Davis. VGL is AQHA's official DNA laboratory that manages the AQHA-owned genetic database. VGL has been accredited by the American National Standards Institute National Accreditation Board, with the highest level of accreditation available for a testing laboratory. It is important to note that AQHA is the sole owner of any and all DNA material and results processed by AQHA's official laboratory, pursuant to AQHA's registration rules and or AQHA request. A common question that we hear from AQHA members is, what is the difference between DNA typing and parentage verification? A DNA test derives the genetic markers of an individual horse. Think of it like a fingerprint. Each horse has its own fingerprint or unique set of genetic markers. Parentage verification obtains genetic markers, but also compares them to the sire and dam recorded for that horse. Parentage verification ensures the dam is the horse's mother and the sire is the horse's father. If a qualification to either or both parents cannot be confirmed, this will result in an exclusion. However, if the horse parentage verifies at each DNA marker evaluated for each parent, then the horse is said to qualify. In some instances, AQHA has made genetic testing a requirement. These are the conditions under which an American Quarter Horse's parentage must be verified. DNA typing is required if your horse is a stallion that is breeding mares, your horse is a mare that is being bred and was foaled in 1989 or later. To review, REG 108.3 explains that a DNA type for the stallion and mare must be on file with AQHA prior to the registration of any foal. Parentage verification is required if your horse's sire or dam was under the age of two at the time a foal was conceived, your horse was the result of embryo slash oocyte transfer. REG 112.4 states that if a mare is designated with AQHA for embryo slash oocyte transfer for a specific year, but the procedure is not attempted in the designated year, AQHA must be notified in writing by December 31st of the designated year that the owner has elected not to attempt embryo slash oocyte transfer. Without such notice, a foal produced the following year by designated mare is not eligible for registration without genetic testing for parentage verification. If a mare is enrolled for her lifetime, all of her offspring must, spring must be parentage verified before they can be registered, regardless of the breeding method used. It was conceived by the use of cooled transported semen, REG 102.8.3. It was conceived by the use of frozen semen, REG 102.8.4. Your horse is more than 48 months of age at the time the application for registration is received by AQHA. Your horse's dam was exposed to more than one stallion within a 30-day time period. Your horse has excessive white markings, as specified in Rule REG 109.8. REG 102.5 states that when a registration application shows the horse to be registered has white markings beyond the prescribed lines in REG 109.8, excessive white markings or white spot or spots Pictures of the horse shall be required, 
and the horse may be inspected to determine if parentage verification is required before the application is processed. Your horse is foaled after January 1st, 2007, and is a descendant of the stallion impressive 0767246. See rule REG 109.3.3. Your horse is going to be raced. RAC 312.5. In order to be eligible to be tattoo identified, all horses fold on or after January 1st, 1992, shall be parentage verified through genetic testing. The horse's registration certificate shall be issued or reissued, designating that the horse has been parentage verified. Payment of all fees for parentage verification is the expense of the owner of the horse, for which tattoo identification is requested. Your weanling is going to be entered into an AQHA World Championship show. The AQHA Executive Committee deems parentage verification is necessary. When a genetic test is ordered, AQHA will send the test kit to the recorded owner via email and the owner will physically mail the hair sample directly to the Veterinary Genetics Laboratory at the University of California, Davis for testing. It is important to ensure that hair is collected from the proper horse. Otherwise, additional testing costs can be incurred. Once the tests are complete, AQHA will notify the owners and put the results of the test on the horse's record and certificate of registration. DNA and genetic test kits can be ordered on any American Quarter horse that is registered or pending registration. AQHA offers DNA and genetic test kits one of three ways. 1. From your online AQHA member profile. 2. By online or physical form submission or mail order. 3. By calling the AQHA member experience phone line. Please keep in mind that AQHA policy requires a registration application in office to order a kit for an unregistered foal. DNA kits will be sent by email shortly after the order is placed. Physical kits are normally mailed from AQHA within 7 to 10 business days. The time frame in which the physical kit is received can be inhibited by international post inefficiencies. Expedited service is available through rush and overnight delivery fees. Once you have received the kit, further instructions are included within the packet to ensure you collect the correct sample and submit it properly. Stay tuned to learn how to properly collect a hair sample from your horse. For each option, you will need the horse's registered name and registration number to order the kit. Via Member Profile First, you can order a test online by signing into your AQHA member portal on www.aqha.org. Via form submission, you can also download the genetic test form, which is available in English, German, Italian, French, and Spanish. After completing the form, it is recommended to email it to geneticttest at aqha.org. Over the phone. Lastly, you can order your kit over the phone. To do so, call 1-806-376-4811, option 1, extension 2, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. CST, Monday through Friday. An AQHA member experience professional will complete your order over the phone. You will need to ensure you have all the necessary information in place to order the kit, such as the registered name and number for the horse. To accurately collect and test a sample, the root of the hair needs to be intact and included on the strands. AQHA recommends pulling your horse's hair from the middle of the mane, as hair at the withers will be too fine and tends to break off. If you pull evenly and directly away from the neck, the hair will generally come out by the roots. Obtaining 20 to 30 strands of hair for testing is recommended. The ideal sample consists of lots of clean hair with robust roots, arranged in the proper orientation, and all excess hair properly taped down on the kit. Visit vgl.ucdavis.edu slash sample hyphen collection slash horse to watch a video on how to collect a sample. Genetic tests ordered online expedite genetic test results. 
Once the hair is received at the lab, testing and results processing take 14 to 21 business days. Genetic test results are a free record for AQHA members to view. When completed, genetic test results will appear on a master registration record. AQHA currently offers two free master registration records, which are available at aqhaservices.aqha.com forward slash members forward slash record forward slash free records. It's important to know that genetic testing only needs to be performed once in a horse's lifetime. A horse cannot be parentage verified if its sire and dam are not both DNA typed. AQHA automatically parentage verifies horses that are eligible. If the parentage verification is required on the certificate of registration, it can be returned to the office for a free replacement. If parentage verification results in an exclusion, there will be a $100 DNA research fee to find the correct parents. Also, for review and identification purposes, it will be necessary to submit four clear, current, full-view photographs of the horse being tested, showing the front, back, left, and right side views. AQHA offers a genetic test that checks your horse for five genetic diseases, which are hyperkalemic periodic paralysis, HYPP, polysaccharide storage myopathy, PSSM, hereditary equine regional dermal asthenia, HERDA, malignant hyperthermia, MH, and glycogen branching enzyme deficiency, GBED. Depending on your horse's pedigree, AQHA may require you to purchase an HYPP test. As of 2021, AQHA recognizes five diseases in the disease panel test. It is possible in the future for more diseases to be added to the panel test. Understanding recessive and dominant genes are important when reading disease test results and making future breeding decisions among carriers. Genes come in pairs and each parent contributes one copy of the gene to the offspring. With respect to the autosomal dominant genetic diseases, HYPP, PSSM, and MH, only one defective gene is necessary to express the genetic disease in question. Such gene can be inherited from either of the parents or from both parents. With respect to autosomal recessive genetic diseases, HBED and HERDA, typically two copies or a pair of an abnormal gene must be present for the horse to show signs of the genetic defect in question. Horses with only one copy of the defective gene are considered carriers. To begin, let's learn about hyperkalemic periodic paralysis, otherwise known as HYPP. The designation of this disease became effective for foals born on or after January 1st, 1998. HYPP is an inherited autosomal dominant genetic disease a muscular disease caused by a hereditary genetic defect that leads to uncontrolled muscle twitching or profound muscle weakness and, in severe cases, may lead to collapse and or death. According to research, this condition exists in certain descendants of the stallion impressive, AQHA registration number 0767246. A notification is placed on registration certificates of foals descending from the stallion impressive or any other bloodline determined to carry the HYPP gene. This notification states, This horse has an ancestor known to carry HYPP, designated under AQHA rules as a genetic defect. AQHA recommends testing to confirm presence or absence of this gene. When the parent or parents tracing from the HYPP line have tested negative for HYPP with an appropriate designation appearing on their registration certificate, this notification is not required and will instead be substituted by the designation negative slash negative, or after testing negative for the gene, the notification may be substituted by the designation negative slash negative upon request of the owner at his or her expense. There is mandatory testing for HYPP for any foal tracing to bloodlines known to carry the HYPP gene, born on or after 2007. 
The results will be designated on the registration certificate in lieu of the mentioned notification. Any foal testing homozygous positive for HYPP, H slash H, will not be eligible for registration with AQHA. Next, we will discuss polysaccharide storage myopathy, PSSM. PSSM is an inherited autosomal dominant genetic disease that causes excess glycogen storage in muscles, which can result in tying up, muscle tremors, and or gait abnormalities. PSSM is a common form of tying up. The mutation in the GYS1 gene causes unregulated synthesis of glycogen, which results in excessive sugar in muscle cells. This leads to muscle pain and stiffness, sweating, exercise intolerance, and weakness. Because of the pain and stiffness, horses are reluctant to move. Research conducted at the University of Minnesota has identified two types of PSSM. GBED. AQHA also tests for glycogen branching enzyme disease, GBED which is an inherited autosomal recessive disease that terminates protein synthesis. This can result in late-term abortions or death in foals shortly after they are born. The mutation of the GBE1 gene reduces the function of the glycogen branching enzyme, so the cardiac and skeletal muscle, the liver and the brain cannot store and mobilize glycogen. Since glycogen provides energy to the muscles, the inability to properly store and mobilize it leads to muscle weakness and eventually death. GBED results in second and third term abortions and stillborn foals. Although a few foals have survived to the age of four months, GBED is always fatal. Hereditary Equine Reginal Dermal Asthenia, H-E-R-D-A, also known as Hyperelatosis Cutis, H-C, is an inherited autosomal recessive disease that weakens collagen fibers that connect the skin of the horse to the rest of the horse. Affected horses can have fragile hyperextensible skin, which can result in tears, scars, and lesions. Affected horses are also known to exhibit impaired healing to such injuries. Collagen makes up connective tissues like skin, bones, tissue, muscles, and cartilage. The mutation in the PPIB gene results in defective collagen that causes the outer layer of the skin to split from the layers underneath. In some cases, the outer layer of the skin slews off entirely, leaving raw wounds. Young horses with HERDA might appear to have an unusual number of nicks and cuts on their skin, but the disease is most often noticed when the horse starts training under saddle. The pressure of the saddle on the back causes the skin to tear and separate, leaving raw areas. These areas are slow to heal, and many horses with HERDA are euthanized due to slow healing injuries. The final disease that the AQHA tests for is Malignant Hyperthermia Disorder, MH. MH is an inherited autosomal dominant disease that causes a life-threatening condition that is usually triggered by exposure to certain drugs used for general anesthesia. In susceptible horses, these drugs can induce an uncontrolled increase in skeletal muscle oxidative metabolism, which affects the body's capacity to supply oxygen, remove carbon dioxide, and regulate body temperature, potentially leading to circulatory collapse and death if not treated quickly. Affected horses experience increased muscle metabolism, fever often exceeding 109 degrees Fahrenheit or 42 degrees Celsius, excessive sweating, high heart rate, abnormal heart rhythm, shallow breathing, hypertension, muscle rigidity, breakdown of muscle tissue, muscle protein in the urine, and or death. If you have a question or are looking for answers to frequently asked questions, the online AQHA Help Center can provide you with quick assistance. If you cannot find the answer you're looking for, use the Contact Us page on www.aqha.com for assistance by phone or email. Remember to stay informed on the progress of your paperwork and by ensuring AQHA has the most up-to-date contact information for you, especially email address. AQHA's role in preserving the integrity of the breed is expanding daily. Whether American Quarter horses are being used in traditional ranching operations, 
for showing, racing, or recreation, AQHA strives to provide services beneficial to all association members, and ultimately, the American Quarter Horse. AQHA Help Center, https colon forward slash forward slash helpcenter.aqha.com forward slash knowledge. Contact us page, https colon forward slash forward slash www.aqha.com forward slash contact hyphen info. Primary Contact International Department, international at aqha.org. Secondary Contact Department Emails Stallion Breeding Reports SBR at AQHA.org Thoroughbred Recording Thoroughbreds at AQHA.org Genetic Tests Genetic Test at AQHA.org Registrations Registration at AQHA.org Transfers Transfer at AQHA.org Duplicates and Corrections D-U-P-C-O-R-R at AQHA.org Web Navigation, Billing, and Records General Info at AQHA.org By Phone Member Experience 806-376-4811 Monday to Friday from 8 to 5 CST CST